What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. It is time to open up and get a close up look at our first set of 2021 Hot Wheels cars. We first have the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Truno. And I apologize, I called this an Advan car in my unboxing video, and it's actually Falcon sponsored, if I could just read properly right there on the front and even on the artwork on there, it says Falcon. So I apologize for that, but let's go ahead and open this one up to start off our 2021 cars here and get a nice look at this one. This one's in a very, very cool looking blue color, Falcon colors, of course. And we've got the little pop-up headlights on the front end there, nice looking Tampa work all around, cool logos and all that all on the front end, and nice looking artwork and stuff on the side of it. On the back, we don't have a lot of stamping or anything like that. It's mainly focused for the stamping on the side and on the top, but all around a great start to 2021. I really, really like this car. Next, we have a recolor of RV There Yet from the Hot Wheels Getaways series, car number two of five. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And the unique thing about this one is it does almost look like it's got like a Zamac finish to the rear end of it. It's all Zamac all back here and then it's got the yellow front end. So kind of interesting. I, I would have thought that they maybe would release this in the Zamac series possibly like this, but I guess they wanted to release it just like this one right here with the rear Zamac, the front as like a plastic and in yellow. But all around, I've really, really liked the RV there yet. I think it's a neat little casting. It's definitely a fantasy casting, something different that they haven't released before. And obviously these wheels in the middle, you can see right here, they are fake. They don't actually roll in the middle. They've only got the four wheels and tires as you can see right there. So RV there yet, new color variation. Next up is the Toyota Off-Road truck from the Baja Blazers series. This one's in orange. Nice looking color and paint job for it. Just in time for Halloween. Let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a look at all the close-up details on it. Got the number 55 on the side and we got some graphics on the back end as well. Some sort of stamping of of maybe sponsorships of some sort. I recognize the Hot Wheels logo. I don't recognize the other ones right there. We got the Holly carburetor right on the side of it as well. And then we got the big push bar on the front. Very nice, looks pretty cool. It's got the roll bars and all that stuff on the inside of it. We got the spare tire just on the back of it. It's an all around neat looking truck. I've seen this one in many different color variations. Nice to get a new one in the orange though. And next up we have the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. Here is Warp Speeder, and this one is from the Hot Wheels Glow Racers series. So apparently it glows in the dark. Should we test it out? I think it's time that we do test out one of these cars. So let's go ahead and pop it open first and get a look at the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder first, and then we'll test it out and see if it actually glows in the dark. So here we go, Warp Speeder, got the three, the glow just on the side of it, and it's an interesting color. And we saw this one as a new casting last year, and this is now the third colored variation of the Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. It's an interesting casting, I mean, it's not my favorite. I, I would have liked to see some other different glowing cars, maybe in a licensed format, but nonetheless, still pretty cool. All right, guys, let's go ahead and test it out. We're gonna switch the lights off right now. And there you have it, it does glow, but it's very, very faint, very hard to see. I feel if we maybe charge this up a little bit, we would be able to see it better. It, it looks a lot better in real life than it does in camera, but still nonetheless, it's not a super strong glow on it. We'll have to let it sit in the light a lot longer before it grows a lot more. The lights back on, there we go. We're gonna charge it up a lot more and I'll test it out again later on. But there you go, Hot Wheels Warp Speeder. Let me know what you guys think of these new glow in the dark series cars from Hot Wheels for the 2021 series. A brand new casting for 2021 for the Star Wars edition. It is the X34 Land Speeder from Hot Wheels Screen Time. And that's definitely an interesting one. I'm not a huge Star Wars person, so you guys might be able to give me some more information on what it did in the movies, but let's go ahead and pop it open and see what it's all about here. Here we go, wow, it's a lot flatter than I seem to have thought it was. So it's kind of got like some good aerodynamics. You can see how flat it is. It's got the wheels and tires all integrated just onto the bottom right there. It says land speeder on there. And then from the top, we can see it kind of looks like a boat. 
I don't know, is it a boat? And it, I think it's like a boat that maybe flies. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like a speedboat of some sort. And it's got like these kind of like jet engine type things on the rear end. And we can see that kind of curved windshield right there, which you can see the interior on there. And it's got the right hand drive on there. An interesting casting. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about the, the Star Wars series cars that they're coming out with. I guess a lot of Star Wars fans will love these, but for me personally, not really my thing, but nonetheless, it's cool to add to the collection. Next up is the 52 Chevy. We've got a new color variation of this one. Let's go ahead and open it and see what it's all like on the side right here. We'll throw the packaging down right there. And this one says Mighty Max Garage on the side of it. It's an interesting color to it. It's kind of got like a rustic design to it. So it's meant to look somewhat old. You can see right there the paint job on the top. It supposedly looks all rustic, which is really cool. It's really neat for an era car like this one. We've got a chrome base on there and tinted windows all around. Just a, it's a neat little truck. Um, personally, not really my thing, but nonetheless, it's a neat little one to collect. Tankinator is up next. A new color variation of Tankinator from the Experimotor series. Let's go see what Tankinator is all about right here. We've got the new color variation of him. Colored wheel lip on there, all blacked out though on the base and the bottom and everything like that. And then we've got this piece right up here, which you know does move all the way around as Tankinator does. And it's uh, like kind of like a pearly white color that we have on the top, it says Tankinator on the side with the 21 right there. It's a really cool looking fantasy cat. Casting. This would be scary to see coming down at you in real life. Another brand new casting for 2021. It's the Fast and Furious Spy Racers series Hyper Fin. And this looks like kind of a cross between like an F1 car and a hyper car. So let's go ahead and pop this one open and get a look at this one. And wow, like looks aerodynamic look at the design on the front end it does it, it's definitely a cross between an f1 and a hypercar the, the the back end is all like f1 like even the front end it's got kind of like the f1 look to it but then it's got from the side and the front right there it does look like it's more of a hypercar a very very cool design though all fully exposed tires on the back of it and on the bottom we've got a black gloss base on there but i don't know what to think about this one i think it's pretty neat this fast and furious spy racer series come out with a uh, quite a few different unique looking cars and i look forward to seeing more of them i think they're pretty neat 2010 chevy impala and this is a hot wheels race team edition it's white with the number four on the side of it from the Hot Wheels Race Team Series. Let's go ahead and pop that one open and get a look at it. It's got gray wheels on there, lots of different logos and stuff on the side of it, the number four on the side as well as the top. And we've got the Hot Wheels Racing on the front with BF Goodrich, not much detail for Tampa Worker, anything like that on the front end or the rear end, but I think that's kind of NASCAR like, so it kind of does have that nice little blue tinted windows on the interior. It's an all around clean looking, good looking car from Hot Wheels. Nissan 300 ZX Twin Turbo, new color variation. This is the mainline variation, but it does come as a super treasure hunt. Unfortunately, I didn't get the super treasure hunt in my case, but this mainline looks fantastic. I really, really have loved this casting since it came out. Originally, it came out in a white and then a red, and now we've got this color of it, which looks great. This is probably my favorite one so far. Love the look of those wheels. Love the back end of it. Great looking tempo work in all of that same with the front end right there we've got the integrated lights which are built into the underneath plastic and they're not stamped on there just a great great looking car all around love the t-top look on the top of it as well nissan 300 zx if you guys are a fan let me know in the comments section down below and probably one of the coolest new castings released for the recent 2021 releases it's the barbie dream camper from the hot wheels getaway series and you can see Barbie and her friend just driving right on there. And there's the big Barbie logo right there. Just such a cool, cool car. Let's go ahead and open this one up and I'll show you one unique thing that this one does. And I'll admit, I've already opened one of these up because when my daughter saw this, she wanted to have one right away. So I opened one up and one thing unique is this little pop piece right here 
it just pops kind of just open just like that. So it opens up and then you can see right through the camper right there. You can see all the different details and stuff on there. It looks like it's got like a sink and a table and some couches and stuff. And then on the front end, it's like a big open exposed front end. So no windshield or anything like that or no windows that are actually built into it. Just an all around really, really cool, neat, big casting. The big Barbie logo right on the side right there the front end we can see the tampa work for the headlights and all of that and on the rear end it just got the ladder and the tires no tampa work or anything like that but such such a cool new casting i'm super excited to this this is going to look really good next to the barbie corvettes that they came out with recently so we're gonna have to do probably a side by side of those later on but this one i'm just i don't know i just really really like the barbie cars that they come out with with hot wheels hot wheels ford transit connect new color variation of this one from the hot wheels metro series let's go ahead and open this one up and get a look at it here here we go we've got it open right there and this one's got uh uh pep what is it pep boys or pep Peepop or something like that on the side. Peppop and Sons. I'm not sure exactly. If you guys know exactly what it was, I saw. I thought it said Popeye initially, but I don't think that's what it says. Uh, pest Control. There we go. So it does, it does say Pest Control on there. So it's something in Sons. I think it's probably named after something real life. I'm not too sure. If you guys know, comment down below and let me know what you think about that and that logo and all that. Nice looking colored chrome lip wheels on there. Chrome all on the front end as well. And it's a chrome base on the Ford Transit Connect. And we've seen many color variations of this one. I think it's a pretty neat looking casting. You guys let me know what you think though. Road Bandit, and we've got a new color variation of the Road Bandit from the Hot Wheels Art Cars. I know lots of my fans from the Philippines have let me know that it's a local vehicle from there, which is super, super cool. And now we've got our third color variation of Road Bandit. So let's go ahead and open it up here from the Art Cars, this one. So it's obviously gonna have Lots of different unique colors on there. You can see the different colored tires on the rear than they are to the front end and all different types of colors and stuff. And then we've got the, the Hot Wheels logo with the heart right there, which is really, really neat. And all just different colors all around on the side of it. And on the bottom, the big flashy yellow on there. And we can see from the front, we've got the combination of the yellow and the red. And then uh, what is this kind of like a magenta color of some sort, almost gray. It's hard to say exactly what that is, but just an all around neat casting. I was just super excited when this originally came out last year. And it's nice to get all these new color variations of it but super, super nice. 1996 Porsche Carrera from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage series. Let's go ahead and open up this new colored variation of it. And I originally thought this was a little bit plain looking, but actually the striping and stuff on the bottom does look actually kind of cool. And I like that little circle thing right there. It's a nice touch to it. We saw previous uh, color variations come out in this one and it looked uh, somewhat plain and it's still somewhat plain as far as the tampa works on the hood and stuff goes we don't get much as far as stamping or anything uh, for the headlights on there and on the rear end not a lot just a little bit of painting just right on the top engine cover and the little carrera logo right there but still all around when this car came out originally i was a super big fan of it and you know what i think this one still does look pretty good and i'd like to see more variety of color variations come out for this one again 1964 Corvette Stingray new color variation from the Hot Wheels Race Day series and this is in a nice glossy red color. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see what it's all about and as you can see it's a very very shiny red color and we've got these circle white highlights on there so I guess that would be for the number of the car if it were to go racing for it. And you can see the back window of it. It's the full back window. It's not the split one as the 1963 Corvette was the only one with the split window on there, which I'm a big fan of. But nonetheless, this one does look really, really, really nice. I do like this one. Like Nice looking uh, vent covers and stuff like that that is all etched into the hood right there. Just an all around decent looking Corvette car. I mean, I'd probably like to see a different color variation of this one come out. I'm not a big fan of this particular series in red of Corvettes. I like the newer Corvettes in reds, but these older ones look probably better in like a blue or a darker color or even a silver color. But nonetheless, I'm sure we'll get more color variations of the 64 Corvette very, very soon. Brand new casting, the Tuned Twin Mill. That's right, Tuned Twin Mill. Check this one out. What a unique looking casting. It's obviously the Twin Mill with the 
dual engines on there and this is from the tune series let's go ahead and pop it open and see this one nice and close here and you can see just how squished this one is here big window on there and there's obviously your two big engines on there but wow I, I never thought I'd see a tuned out twin mill but hey you can kind of expect the unexpected when it comes to Hot Wheels cars and releasing these uh, very unique and different fantasy castings big big wheel on the back and then the little one on the front end there a nice striping that goes up the center and on the back not much as far as detail goes I'm not sure exactly what this little thing is supposed to be right there if you guys know let me know in the comment section down below little Hot Wheels logo right there but tuned out twin mill guys what do you think brand new casting for 2021 are you guys a fan of this one all right guys before we continue on make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button it super helps me out i'd super appreciate it lets me know how much you guys like these videos so hit that thumbs up we're moving on now to the mattel dream mobile from the tuned out series is another tuned out car the Mattel Dreammobile. We saw this one released last year and now we get uh, another color variation of this one right here. This is like a very light blue, but look at the interior on here. It's a yellow interior. That is definitely unique, like a big bubble top on there, right there. And obviously you can see how it's got these, the fins on the back of it right here and then the kind of wheels and tires are a little bit hidden in there. And almost like a Chevy like front end with these headlights of some sort right there. but. I don't know about this color variation like the outside does look really really cool but to match it with the yellow that's definitely something unique that we don't really see but hey I'm not gonna lie it's it's kind of neat it's kind of a cool looking car I do like it retroactive a new car from Hot Wheels and check this one out I guess this one is supposed to be good on the track and like I said we're definitely gonna be trying this one out it's gonna be in our race on Sunday and it is from the track stars series there it is let's go ahead and pop it open and see what this one's all about and this one wow like you can't miss this big thing it almost looks like a bullet of some sort but it's like a big jet engine or something on the back of it big big wheels on the back of it big wheel and tire combination a little bit smaller ones in the front but still very very big and I don't know I think this one will be fast down the track this is going to be a really really fun one to try down the peak time racing track for our drag racing but what do you guys think for a new casting do you think this is going to be fast down the track do you think this could potentially beat out our champ our current champ you guys let me know in the comment section down below aeropod is our next car there it is it's got like this Jurassic Park theme to it it's from the dino riders series so obviously we're going to get a lot of uh, dinosaur related trucks and stuff so let's go ahead and open this one up and see what it's all about it's almost like spider-man type colors on there the red and the blue and it's got the big dino thing right there and there's that t-rex on there the hot wheels logo just on the back of it and super like high tech and unique looking it's it's a three-seater as well if you look on the interior of there you can see three seats which is really really unique and i don't know what these things and stuff are on the top of it and then we've got i don't know it's like an uh are they spare tires or an engine of some sort on the rear that kind of goes right through very very unique looking car it's going to be uh interesting to see what they come out with for this dino riders series in the future for 2021. one of my favorite recolors so far it's the 1970 dodge power wagon wow i really really like this car so I thought we'd have to open one of them up with the big 70 on the side of it. It's from the Baja Blazers series. Let's go ahead and pop it open. And as you guys know, this is one of my favorite Hot Wheels casting. And I'm, I don't even know why. It's just like I don't like this in real life. Really, I've never been a big fan of these Dodge Power Wagons. But now, just in Hot Wheels form, I think it looks super, super, super cool. And I love the mud tires on this one. What a unique touch to it. It's nice to have that come to Hot Wheels. And you can see... All right there on the back, just the nice clean look to it. Even on the front end, a little bit of a clean look with these like spotlights and stuff. The hood scoop right there and the big bar just right on the top. And one of the originally releases of this one had a full metal base, but now the ones that are coming to the main lines, they're all just the plastic base. And you know what? You can't really tell when you when you actually see it, but when you hold it, you can definitely feel the weight difference of it. But nonetheless, still just such a cool looking casting. You have to get your hands on this one. And the last but definitely not least, it's the Baja Bone Shaker from the Holiday Racer series. And this 
one is a treasure hunt it's got the treasure hunt logo on there we'll get a closer look at that in a sec and this one is halloween themed so definitely right in time for halloween of 2020 even though this is for the 2021 series but nonetheless wow just look at that look at the the orange tires with the like skull like things on there and then you can see just on the top uh, on the side it does actually say treasure hunt with the pumpkin on the bottom which is really really cool and we look to the top Right there, we'll actually go around this side, and you can see right on the front right there, you can see the Treasure Hunt logo on there. You can see those big orange tires sticking out with all the chrome for that chrome engine and all of that. We can see the spare tire on the back of it, which doesn't match the side ones. That would have been cool if they matched it, although it does look pretty neat in the chrome right there. So that's a neat touch to it as well. And you can see the aggressive front end, the skull of the bone shaker right there but just just a really really cool treasure hunt i'm super excited to get this one it's a great start to 2021 for treasure hunts all right guys that's gonna wrap up our video on the first 2021 hot wheels that we opened up let me know in the comment section down below which one's your favorite and don't forget to hit that thumbs up i'll catch you guys on the next one Bye bye